<laughs> Shiny Mark, you gotta change your costume, man. Oh, no, nah, he's just rocking what he knows best. Okay. This is so cute, though. Both, well, okay, maybe that's the casual, because, because both they are both the, the, the female Pikachu, so maybe she gets dressed up. She's the, the same girl. Oh, this is also a female Pikachu. You see the heart-shaped tail yeah, now. Both of them are. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. My Minimax knows his Pokemon stuff, but also Shiny Mark gonna know his uh, Pikachu combos starting the offensive immediately so, and this uh, this man didn't skip a beat whatsoever. We've been seeing him deliver time and oh, time again, and this one that? will oh. not fail. Zero a muerte, padrino. Oh, tasty, las cochinas. The disgusting stuff right over here by Shiny Mark, who really means business over here at Mexico City. Let's see, but right now the drag down. Okay, this is gonna be very dangerous. Going back into it. No, no drop down. But Shiny Mark is playing very dangerously right now. He feels sharp. He feels with high voltage. All right, let's see how long he can keep this lead up. Or of course, Sonics is gonna be coming back with a vengeance. No, the short hop double aerial up air. Oh, to follow. oh my God! Clip his jump. One more spike. Ah! ah, he didn't wait long enough, but the idea was there. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, there were some evil, evil ideas going on in Shiny Mark's mind. He's still pushing his advantage off stages. We've seen it done time and time again. The awareness, oh my goodness, Shiny Mark, the angles to make sure to survive it here is where Sonic could also make his money. That very, very active backer from Sonic not going to quite find its mark. Look at that. From side to side of the stage, he's still alive with 140%. Still, he's going to survive with some great DI on the back throw. Yes, 80%. Piling up. This is a great advantage for Shiny Mark, but the forward smash is gonna kill it. The big punch. Love that from Sonic. Staying aggressive in the corner. A lesser player might try to jump or roll or do something like that. Try to burst out of the corner in some fashion, but no, he held his ground. And so far, he's reaping Ooh. the rewards for it. Cutting this lead down wow. quite significantly here. And that bear, if, if, even pulling through from the Thunder Jolt, not gonna give a damn about that. I mean, those options are gonna be covered. Sonic's trying to make up oh. his percent. Oh, that was uh, that was something, let me tell you, but not what Sonic's needed. So far, is still trailing in percent, but the stocks at the very least are even. Look at all those sparks, man, trying to control the space. The forward there is going to go. Oh, oh. no, oh, I'm breaking the That's disgusting, begging you back. You're not going to rob me. I am the master here. These guys are really brawling. These guys are becoming nasty. The knuckles are bleeding in between these two players. And this is just game number one. You spike me, I spike you, <laughs> says Sonics. And you would not have guessed that this game started off with a zero to death from Shiny Mark. Things are snowballing out of control wow. here. Wow. Once again, I mean, you have to appreciate just the mental resilience from Sonic's not giving up whatsoever, even in spite, like you said, Max, of such a rough start, not trying to land on him quite yet. Sonic's, what are you gonna do to try and, uh, well, make the first step up in this climb up to the reset? That's it, that's it. No, alive. Not even that beautiful dash attack was able to take it out. Let's see. Oh, oh the bumper is gonna give him, give him the stage, still able to make it back. Yet again, shiny playing in the very dangerous situation with 98% and Sonic's still alive. The center of the dash attack is gonna hit outside of there. The, the anti-air barrage oh. is going to hit, but not enough to kill. What was that? I don't know what Shiny Mark is cooking right now, but he did get away with it. Still <laughs> a couple more breaths of life in him. Let's see what he's able to do. Oh no, mm. turned the wrong way, but still picks up the grab. Up throw, gonna finish the job. Now a whole stock to work through, but we saw him do it once. Can he do it again? A zero to death would finish things off. Oh, that could be it indeed, but he's gonna have to find at the uh -oh. start first. This could only net him so much, only 22% so far, but Shiny Mark, that is not gonna be his last chance. Of oh, as we know, he gets call outs like that. Um, oh my oh, god, this like misses. Oh, in the back air to keep himself alive. Sonic's looking like a sitting duck out there, but no, choosing to use the upbeat backwards. Wow! The forward air, is that it? Yes, it is. Game one goes to Sonic's. Sonic. And Never letting the pressure go, like he knew he was able to get it back, and he's gonna edge guard that. And Sonic's an absolute genius, just covering. Regardless of that, you are so far off stage that you have to cross that. Your whatever path you take, you have the same end point. So I'm gonna cover that. And as you were pointing out earlier, Max, that hurt box slightly, well, not really slightly, quite enlarged while Pikachu is active on that quick attack. So Sonic puts an active hitbox right there, and this is where Sonic makes his money. Once more, offstage play, 
beautiful between these guys. I think you could say that about both of them. Yeah, they're, they're both absolute demons when it comes to edge guarding. And I'll point it out, this is not the type of game we were expecting from these I was about to say. Especially after their set earlier. Yes. Which went on for, like you said, 40 minutes. No. <laughs> right out the gate, we saw a combo into death from Shiny Mark. Might be similar this time around, but I don't know. Maybe they'll start to slow things down. I don't know, Max. I just love to be surprised that these two are really de de delving it into that kind of territory. The backer is going to finish that combo 22, uh, 22 23, just starting right now. Nothing to have about this right here. Oh, the bait. I know how you're going to react. I'm going to punish it. Ball the downer. It's going to take Sonic out of it. So Sonic's uh, just working on a slight bit of disadvantage. Shine Mark, oh, what a coverage right there with the, the upper. Not afraid to make it off stage. This is not quite yet a percentage, which it's going to represent peril for him so far. And Shiny Mark, oh. no stranger. The right call out from Sonic's, but not the right time. He's ready for that. Again, these two have played, especially online, so many times. Wait a minute. Footstool homing attack. Technology. Out of mm -hmm. Tech yeah. being developed right here, Max. And you, you were saying it like, this feels sometimes like those kind of matches between brothers, right? Like, <laughs> they, they know each other so well, and they will punish some kind of stuff. Look at that uh, spot dodge over there to forgive the the jabs, and then the punish is going to be there. The back throw is going to land. Sonic's out of the stage. How low do you want to go? How low can you reach the depths of hell before blowing up? And in Pikachu's case, virtually infinite distance. <laughs> <laughs> that recovery. <laughs> We're going to see Shiny Mark make it back almost every time, unless I guess he misses the second part of Quick Attack like he did against Gak. I don't think he'll be making a mistake like that, though. Yeah, no, it's going to be, it's going to have to be pretty much a forced mistake, and we have seen uh, Sonic's really uh, pressing his advantage off stage as well. Okay, a funny exchange right now. Ooh, the upper is slightly not reaching and out. Oh, man. Okay, wait a second. Hold off on that thought because. This could uh, get interesting in just a second. Shinemark crossing the 140% mark, but it somehow feels like he still has quite a bit of life left. He's not playing like he's scared of death at all, but maybe he should be. There's so many ways for Sonics to take him out. Forward tiller across the stage, not going to be one of them. He already did that did against Gak, right? Staying alive with Pikachu mm. for so long, but sadly, I bring the curse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he gets killed right when I mention his survivability, but now in the center of the stage let's see one the upper two of them bringing the dose that's the method the man with the method sonic wow with the forward smash perfectly placed but still shiny mark so much privilege in that yellow rabbit oh the flop and even sonic is smiling for a second he knows that is definitely not what he wanted just to try to that's uh, the tax, that's the tax. Get it, yeah, get a little too crazy off stage like he's used to but a slight flop could be a very costly one here shiny mark not going to take that opportunity for granted. Staying in the corner, throwing some of these Thunder Jolts out. Oh, and the front hit of the up tilt, not really opening up too much damage for him. Mm. Still, any hit's a good hit at this point. <laughs> okay, Shiny Mark, a bit of a Hail Mary right there with the side B. Not going to work out in his favor and making it to the same side. Oh, the Cole. Like, Sonic, both of these guys, I mean, Cole was talking about the, the Pikachu and Sonic matchup earlier, but at this point, like you, like Cole said, these guys know each other so well that it's about the player-on-player -player matchup. It really uh, is. They know, they know, they know yes. what they are doing. When you see two players this familiar with each other, it's where you're going to see the hardest reads, but also some of the weirdest plays. That yes. might look like <laughs> they make no sense. Trust me, there's purpose behind it. Ooh. And, and you have to, to think so Ooh. much about oh. possible memory. Oh, I failed one. What? But if you fail, just go again and hit it. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, they are able to make it back. <laughs> they are play, They are de really delivering a show for us tonight. These are acrobats. Like in the big ring of the, of the circus, they are really dishing it out for our entertainment. Are you not happy people? <laughs> oh, my God. It feels like that Taz video with Fox and Falco fighting on the <laughs> yeah. below Final Destination. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my Lord. Uh, even, uh, even ish percents so far. Shiny Mark trying to make it in with the aerial. Oh, huge push of a stage and waiting for a second. I love just the absolute respect these guys have on their landing area. Ledge trap not gonna go through. Sonic's able to fight his way back on with the ledge uh -oh. up there. Okay, big combo for Shiny Mark though, making sure this lead does not spiral out of control. Trying to maintain it in close, but Sonic gets a hit. Every oh, time to come back. Oh, that was a big, a Bonded. big situation over there. But Shiny Mark is able to make it back. Now controlling the stage. This is gonna be a punish. Of course it is. Now great direction, direction alert over there by Sonic to become untouched. 
by that downer. That's going to be enough. Yes, it is. 2 0 and approaching to the reset. But this is running fast. So oh. tough to be this light against a character like Sonic, who just drags you all the way out to the blast zone. And of course, all it takes is one whiff punish for him to get you in a terrible spot. Sonic's gonna convert into a second game win off of that. Man, we were talking about a potentially really long night ahead of us, but if Sonic keeps up this pace of play, it might be over before even one set could have ended between these two. Yeah, really, really, that could be the case. And man, I mean, but is that gonna be the case only for the first set, potentially, of course, that we're talking about uh, right now because uh, the closeness that the Sonics has to the reset. The second one may go very, very different, or maybe Shiny Mark just getting a little bit of the tournament jitters out. In the meantime, it is uh, the biggest grand final that he's been a part of uh, so far, I uh, have uh, to say. Uh, and Sonic's not a stranger to, to this type of stage. I mean, we were talking about maybe he's uh, lacking in the W department, but he's made it this far constantly. Yeah, he's a man of the numbers, that's for sure. He's always getting those big placements, and he is hungry for it right now. Let's go <gasps> from that side to another. And you were saying that, that this, so is, they, this is how they know each other. This is how they really display the knowledge. Great grab over there. Sadly unable to confirm. A little bit of a failure over here by the great execution. Shiny Mark normally displays. Yeah, right. <laughs> Such a blessing for the both of these characters, actually. That's the price you pay for... Uh, or rather, you have low weight to pay the price for your frame two air dodge. <laughs> oh man, gonna push him off stage. I thought the Thunder was coming for him. Oh! And it was in the second coverage. The timing was off just as lightly. Shiny Mark gave everybody a heart attack with mainly Sonics. Another footstool homing attack. Sonics has shown a lot of footstool gameplay. Not gonna just be in this top four. No! But still alive here. Sonic, not the lightest character in the game. He's just a little bit below mid wave, but still, seeing him survive like this. That bodes so well for Sonics. Begin to deliver oh. on a 3-0. I don't know, man. Shiny Mark might be out of answers. Let's see. Let's see. He's looking for one big hit. The forward tilt is gonna be it. Are you gonna go and chase? No. He decides to stay on the chair on on the stage. Yet again, the forward tilt is becoming a good tool for Shiny Mark right now. Ooh, the dash attack going out. So so far and so deep, these guys can, are able to go, man. It's insane. Up throw might be enough to do it. No, not quite. Wow. Oh, what? Still surviving right there. My goodness, crossing the 150% mark. The rage is going to be at full throttle. And so Sonic is going to have to take care of that. But it is trying to mark instead one taking care of that stuff. Now he's just stalling underneath the stage saying, pick a side. I don't care <laughs> which one. I'm probably still getting back. Just get up. Get, get up here, please. Flip now. the coin. Flip the coin. Ooh, those, oh, those opens were very angle. dangerous over there. Using a little bit of the bumper to stay alive. The up smash is not going to hit the drag down. It's going to hit, but unable to capitalize much out of it. Only 25%. Oh, you're going to give it the head back. Give it the head back. I mean, trying to bait each other out on those shield uh, air to aerial interactions. And uh, Shiny Mark somehow still running away with his slide. Let's see how much he can extend this lead. This could be crucial. And one big edge guard and one big combo could be all that he needs to make this a two-stock difference. This is so tense Ooh, right now. Shiny oh, Mark fighting from no the invincibility. deficit, but oh, amazing in this game. So many baits over there, and Shiny Mark wasn't able to get used to get use of the invisibility. The forward smash is going to take it 75% of advantage. The Thunder Jolt is going to hit also the forward air. Oh, forward and now in many combos, creativity being displayed right now on the small battlefield. How well can he hang on to this lead is the question that we've mm -hmm. seen Sonics come through with so many surprise plays, usually resulting in an edge guard. But I don't know, something feels a little bit different. I think Shiny Mark is on the ball right now. Those fir first two games, he was just warming back up. Sonics is in the midst of a crazy loser's run. He's been on the sticks for like an hour and a half straight. Now that Shiny Mark is kind of matching that heat, it might be different. Yeah, cleaning up for sure. I mean, def the defensive play has been coming out on top. And the offensive one as well, because Shiny Mark is it gonna get the advantage that he was looking for? Oh. for so long. Oh my goodness, Sonic's not scared to go toe to toe, even off the stage like that. Just if you make just one single mistake, I'm gonna punish you for it. But look at this, Shiny Mark with the extension, he's gonna quick attack back into the ledge and try and set up for a second time. The wow. up be gonna get Sonic's out of that situation, but it's still, I mean, Shiny Mark looking Ooh. like a different man, even if it's uh, getting close. Is he going to work on this uh, reverse 3-0 or is Sonic going to go oh for God. something crazy? We've seen those spikes work out already for him. 
Yeah, he's uh, trying to get something crazy right here. Sonic Snakes knows that he needs to pick it back up, but I don't know if those crazy calls are gonna be the solution for him mm. right now, which Johnny Mark is playing so swiftly and also so precise, refined, I would say. Let's see, like a clockwork right here. Shiny Mark going to get that head, but that <gasps> ah, dash attack, not enough to make it back into the stage. Right now, Sonic is trying to stay what? alive, and the back throw is going to bring us back to this situation. Is it enough to take the stock, though? If Shiny Mark gets his feet planted, we could see him just run away with this one. Wow! Somehow avoids that forward smash. A kind of spaghetti air dodge, I'm not going to lie. Rare, scared plays here for Shiny Mark. Let's say people is oh. starting to chant. Now from the one side to wow. the stage, he has it out. Oh, so close to stay alive. Wow. And what? he's able to make it. What are these guys managing to survive those late situations? Like it's nobody's business. It just goes to show how well they know each other and how well measured they are on uh, on the other's options. So Sonic's here that have to decide, oh, just a little bit of extra chip, a little bit more of salt. Added to that injury, and Sonic's immediately pressing the, the, the issue right there. Just no hesitation whatsoever. Shiny Mark offstage, and yeah, the good old foretale. That is the Sonic saver right there. Also worth mentioning that now there's no rage on Shiny Mark's part, right? So up throw, which is his straight hit kill generally, or dash attack, mm -hmm. gonna kill much later. He's gonna have to work for a little bit more percent. Right now, it really comes down to something like a neutral air to up smash or down smash. Ooh, chase, but yeah, that's not going anywhere. And, and right now, even if Sonic loses, man, he's making Shiny Mark work so hard for this victory. And it's going to be very tired. So if he still makes him play like this more, the neutral is not going to hit on the left side of the stage. The backer is going to kick him out. Are you going to be able to hit him now? The Thunder just he simply rides about it, but the read is there. Not enough to kill you, said it. The rage is a factor. Man, does DI stand for Dominican influence? This guy <laughs> does not want to die at all. Divine intervention, my friend. <laughs> 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 Multiple acronyms. For real, though, Sonic showing absolute survivability. Can he take this situation and completely turn it around? That is the question. Oh my god, that turtle almost extending the, ba the back air ah! box. And Shiny That's Mark it. finally letting it yes. rip. Rage or not, it is going to have to be a straight hit. And wow. Uh, Sonic's really made him work for that. Yes. He was knocking on death's door for two, two and a half minutes straight there. Able to stay in the game for quite some time. But Shiny Mark had to exhaust a lot of options, show a lot of the cards in his hand in order to pull that one out. I don't know if he's got the stamina to keep up with somebody like Sonic. I don't know if we have it. I don't know if we have that. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Ten games like this, man, I'm gonna die. Man, I mean, Shiny Mark has already done it once today, mind you, but can he repeat that same success or is Sonics going to continue on this path of revenge like we were talking about? Okay, immediately going forward, the shield pressure, those back here is uh, quite, quite active and enabling quite a bit of the offensive that um, that Pikachu can bring to the table. A rather careless get-up attack is going to end up costing him quite a bit and of course this is the type of uh, damage that we, can, that we have come to expect from Sonics. A long, grueling set at 12.30 in the morning between two guys <laughs> who have duked it out more times than you could count. It's all going to come down to who wants it more. Who has enough gas in the tank? Sonic's looking like he was pulling ahead at the beginning, but Shiny Mark still has something left. Yeah, you're completely right. There is a lot of energy. Oh. And that, that energy is brought off by ambition, dreams, desires of glory from these two fantastic players all the way from humble countries, but right here they are glorious titans that are dishing it out their best match for our entertainment people. Let's see if Sonic can get something out of it. The trade is going to be on the behalf of the, the man from the, the Dominican Republic, La Republica Dominicana. Shoutouts to our brothers and sisters over there, Mighty Roy. Also, shoutouts to Guatemala. This boy all the way coming from down south and still making it happen. I mean, such a, a region that you're not really used to seeing, but still pr uh, producing a super top player. And I'm sure Shiny Mark, I mean, he also is going to give credit to all of the practice that he's got over on his home turf. Yeah, but right now, I don't know how this oh, is going to turn out to be. Those four smashes looking quite scary coming in from Sonics. These two are both from the country of Wi-Fi. I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. They're from Coinbox City. That's where they play at their local every Wednesday. President Hbox is over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's it. No, not yet. Sonics is still making it back alive. Oh, he's going to walk wow. and wow. in your face. You were talking about crazy stuff before he has, yeah. 
the big cojones, big <laughs> balls over here. This man, we need to send him to the doctor because he needs some check. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on right there. Yeah, that's for sure. But my God, that, those are the type of plays that we were talking about. Like they just know each other so well that they can go for those kind of quote unquote wonky plays, but those hard call outs definitely big payoff in the matchup like this. Yeah, when you know that your opponent has such a good lead on you, you have to bring out the unorthodox stuff. This is for the title of Smash Factor 11. So much on the line. And you got to think about this. For Sonics, this is just another major under his belt. He has done this many times. He's been here before. For Shiny Mark, a career-defining result. Needs to keep his head on straight if he wants to topple the Titan that is Sonics. A reset is looking likely based on how this game four is going, but I don't know. Anything is possible. Yeah, not enough damage quite yet to call it. Curtains. Oh, Shine Mark overextending quite a bit. Uh, Sonic's not going to let rip up the backer in time. A little bit of a delay on the recovery. Oh, Shiny Mark going to prove very effective, but he needs the damage and he needs it right now. He needs to start uh, some of those big combos. Sonic has been so good in staying away from the lightning loop. Shout out to my marble friends <laughs> right here. It's not about Zero and his loops. It's about Pikachu, but he hasn't been able to be starting them. And in, in right now, he's that this patience this is what is fantastic about these two players. They will not give the risk until they feel that the hunt is safe, that they will be able to capitalize out of it. And look at the movement, and you're not gonna touch me. Oh, the movement close. away from him. Yeah, <laughs> like, they are so refined in just simply don't touching each other, even if, even if that's the, the most thing that they're trying to do right now. Oh, the downer! Not enough to kill because this headshot is privileged. Trying to find another one as well. Looking to double dip, but no. Sonic's still alive. Little combo from Shiny Mark. Nobody's gonna break free. Sonic finds the back air, brings this to last stock. We are on reset point. Reset point for Sonic. Does he have it in the tank? Or Shiny Mark can still, can he still clutch up? Oh, he goes bold and uh, with the grab straight in. No confirmed though. The timely air dodge from Sonic's gonna save him from further punish. Oh, the landing back air stuffed oh. out by the invincibility on that spin dash. Sonic's starting to put a dent in this last stock. Little by little, he's working his way towards the true finals of this tournament. <gasps> oh, the setup. Those down tools can be so huge for Pikachu when he is playing the ground game. Oh, the dash that comes out a bit earlier. Uh, Shiny Mark had the call out, just not the right timing once more. And that you were saying in those chips, this damage, little by little, 50% already in the last talk of Shiny Mark is looking very good for Sonic, but don't count the boy from Guatemala, the Shiny boy, out of there. The dash attack, of course, not going to be enough, not with that percentage. Back into it, covering everything. The, the footstool, yet again, so many footstools over here at the matchup. Sadly, for Sonic's not able to capitalize because of the percentage, my dear Max. I don't know what's gonna happen, man. Shiny Mark <gasps> going incredible patience. Hold on, Sonic's able to crack through the defense, though. A dash attack on the platform as well. Oh, and no punish on that quick attack. We could have seen some more insane stuff off the stage. These two, it really is their calling card. Looking for an air oh. dodge? No, no thunder coming out. Yeah, no dice right there. Sonic's not falling prey to a panic option. Oh, oh almost getting dragged down into his death. And Shiny Mark definitely trying to press the trigger to bring this one into an even stock situation. Wow! He doesn't get it quite yet. Those numbers are looking quite red. Finally gonna do it. I love the way that Shiny Mark uses that backer just to cover a huge amount of space and it will eventually hit, even if it, it's at those percents. I mean, Shiny Mark, no stranger into being patient and finding those chaos. Are we going for a time over, guys? <gasps> one minute and tw 20 seconds on the clock. The time kick is gonna hit. Sonic is feeling hungry, Holix is being on a hunt, finding, trying to hit something with those backers, but Shiny Mark is staying stoic. I'd say, he's saying, okay, swing as much as you want, you will be finding nothing. Nothing but there right now, my dear Max. I don't know how Shiny Mark is going to make up for so much damage in so little time. This is just about over. Sonic just has to not get hit, and he's really damn good at that. So we might oh. see the clock come into play, even if it doesn't run all the way out. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I thought we were oh. going to see a spike or something. Oh, I've seen Sonic fumble the timeout before. Usually he's able to complete it, but sometimes he strays from that path. I mean, if there is a player that could force him to fumble that, it is definitely Shiny Mark and Man that is also accustomed to that type of a playstyle. Oh, the perfect read with the near. He cuts him off. Oh, my God. Sonic has to resort to the spring jump once again to push him into a safer situation. Shiny Mark, though, gonna press his advantage right here. No, he sells for oh. the jump, but he goes for the trump instead. Can my goodness, Shiny Mark, Mark is he gonna make it happen? He comes up so smart. Let's take away 12 seconds on the clock. 
and 10. People are starting to make the countdown. Six, and listen Cinco, to the crowd. Cuatro. No touch. Out of there. Oh. Thunder is out. And he's able to reset with a stylish fashion. The people here are loving it. Two, the tw uh, midnight and a half is here. The moon is on the top and the feelings, the sensations, the emotions are also bluing. I'm not gonna lie, man. Sometimes timeouts are hype, and that was one of them. You could feel the tension in the room. Shiny Mark on this mad chase, trying to run Sonics down, hit him with something decisive. Had to be a forward smash, a thunder, a spike. Otherwise, it was just gonna slip away from yeah. him as the clock goes down. That's when he was trying to chase him off of the stage so hard, right? Like, th he knew, this is my moment. If I'm gonna make this happen because of the huge percentage, uh, that he was tacked on already onto Shiny Mark. He had to make it with a gimp. He had to make it with like a crazy play off stage. And uh, well, Shiny Mark is going to have to get a lot more creative. He's going to take a quick second uh, just uh, to, uh, I think, go to the bathroom, you know, cool off for, for a little bit and maybe rethink that game plan. I mean, this is uh, the, the true finals that we have a read. Rup. And the Sonics, I mean, he is looking quite poised to take this. Yeah. yeah. But, but Max was saying, it, man, he has been playing on to this level for one and a half hours and making the reset. Like, how much stamina that Sonic has? It's insane. As we saw, Shiny Mark going straight into the rest room with a, with a, the need to drop the fear, tirar el miedo, as we say in Mexico. <laughs> oh, and uh, look at that. People is still hype. It's midnight, but they are here to for the love of this game. Not only hype for the grand finals, but also for some free stuff in the crowd. <laughs> Not sure what they're giving away, but of course, if it costs nothing, I'll take it. Let me tell hey, you, I'm taking this one. laptop with me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Thank you to our sponsors, of course, <laughs> like Omen and HyperX for making this happen. Like it has been without uh, current for like six hours and it's still on. I mean, goes to show. Yeah, man. Goes to show. I mean, Good that's, superior that's tech. <laughs> superior Is this tech. actually one of the sponsors? I need a laptop, so. <laughs> yeah, <Never> mind. <laughs> Don't was, mind if I do. Yeah, I was about to buy one to play some TFT this weekend. <laughs> but I'll just wait till I get home. Some showdown, maybe? Yeah. You know? You know, I'm a <laughs> Pokemon enjoyer, hence the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, thank you for sticking with us. Just one more set officially now that Sonix has managed to pull off the reset. And it were, those were not uh, five games, only four. Yep. And only one timeout. And it was exciting the whole way through, including the timeout. Yeah, quite a, maybe quite a difference that these guys are challenging the expectations and challenging and pushing each other to their absolute limits. What a set that we have uh, to look forward to. I mean, uh, the the stamina that we were talking about on Sonics's behalf. I think that Shiny Mark really has improved on that end as well. But has he reached that same point in which he can keep toe to toe at every single avenue? In the end, Roy, we are just as big as our rivals make us be. And these two have been growing together so much. And here on the pinnacle of their careers, they will have to prove yet again on, on the same conditions right now. After that reset, they are on the same conditions. Who is the best Smash player? Who is the top gamer right now? <laughs> and now it's actually Sonics who's taking a little break. Damn it! Yeah, hey man, <laughs> I think they have more than earned it. But of course, we just want to see the action. So hopefully he comes back quickly. Needs to run like his character does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, so we, we, we better get those plushies to, to fight uh, each other. Maybe we can get some, some plush camps on the, on the action. But I mean, guys, I hope that you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Once again, this is your hourly reminder to get your passports and uh, make it all the way down here to Mexico SF12. We'll receive you guys. Oh, am I spoiling something? Oh, sorry. Now, there's already a ticket on the line. So. Uh, we know it's coming. Yeah, we yeah, all know, it's, we know coming. it's coming back. After this big success, of Hardly course, it's a secret it's at this point, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, make sure to make it all the way down here. The competition is going to be amazing. I mean, the food is great, Max. Uh, can you give them some more reasons that you have enjoyed Mexico other than the, than the community? Other than the community and the food and the gameplay, I mean, the weather, for one, has been amazing this weekend. We're in the midst of a crazy heat wave back home in New Jersey, so I'm very glad to be somewhere a little bit cooler. <laughs> and, of course, Mexico being south of the U.S., it's going to be warm, but in this case, not too warm. And, uh, yeah, just the vibes, man. Everybody here is so friendly. 
in and outside of the community, even if you don't speak Spanish or don't speak it that well, you can certainly have a great time. You, people will understand you. A lot of people here speak English, so don't yeah. have any travel anxiety it, around that. No, it's not complicated for, for like English-speaking folk to, to make it down here and just have a perfectly normal life, even. There is, in fact, a, a lot of a, a big U.S. community starting to grow up in, in Polanco here in Mexico City. Oh, yeah. That we are getting gentrified hard. I was going to say, that gentrification, <laughs> man, it happens <laughs> happens in New York, happens in Mexico, <laughs> happens all over the world. It's very cheap to live here, so many people with... Uh, uh, for now, right? Well, for now, yes, but... Uh, with a lot of people with uh, works from home are really banking it out here in Mexico City. So yeah, you can, they can now also play Smash here. But who is going to bank it out on this prize pool? One of these guys is going to take the better chunk of uh, quite a bit of money, I have to say. And the Sonics are looking to be on the momentum. But uh, I mean, Shiny Mark, does he have it in? That was the big question that we were asking earlier. I think they just both iced each other out, right? Both of them taking a short break, making sure to collect themselves because they know what's on the line. Not just the money, the pride, the ranking, the self-satisfaction of being the winner and hoisting that trophy above your head in front of this crowd of what's got to be a thousand or more people. I mean, I understand that, man, but there are those are two, 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 25 grand, man. It's also <laughs> yeah. about oh, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the money. But just saying that there's a lot more at play as well. These guys are as motivated as they've ever been to beat each other up. Wow, and beating, uh, talking about beating each other up. Oh, Sonic's gonna start what delivering. A, what a catch. Yes. Catching over there with the quick attack. He is not going to allow that legend. The advantage is big right now. So, uh, Shiny Mark only landing 53% of percentage. And of course, this is going to be the dose. No, he's able to stay out there. A little bit of a drop over there by Sonic, but it doesn't matter. He, he's picking it up. Oh, man. And uh, once again, the dose out of shield, the footstool tricks, he's coming out from Sonic's end. Make sure that he is able to get the punishes. I mean, not easy to punish the rat out of, in an out of shield situation, but Sonic's finding a way to do it. And not only that, but take that even further and continues to rack on the percent. Not uh, stock taken, I was about to say, but Sonic's changes that in a minute. Wow, Ooh. three stocks to one. And they say this guy is a camper, man. Actually, <laughs> they, 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 I'll be real, he is a camper, but not always. <laughs> But when he, I, I, he, when he turns it out, he's the most offensive Sonic in the world, and he has developed that technology himself. No, the lightning is on a high hit. The, the, the smash attack is missing, but the one, two, three, the gentleman combo over oh. there, making Shiny Mark to suffer, and he is not letting this man pass. Going to the other side, yes, finally. The right side was the door. No, it was a trap. Are it's a trap. Be, are we gonna get a three stock after that ridiculous first set? Where it was so back and forth. It would be the first one that we see in in between in the these fight. two guys. I mean, they are, that's what we were talking about, a grueler match, right? They always go down to the wire, and it feels like this time around, Sonic's completely Ooh. on the pilot's seat, but... Excuse me, up smash hits the ledge. But the, we will see it, and, huh? and of course, Shiny Mark able to DI Good out morning. of there. He was ready for that. I have never seen that interaction, and he was ready. We're, we're learning. We continue to learn. I don't How know many years he... has it been, and we're still surprised by things like that. Right, I don't know <laughs> if he DI'd out or if he just hit the wall and that kind of broke him out of there, but either way, I mean, just some very <gasps> rare stuff happening in these sets, despite the fact that they played each other so many times. I bet neither of them have seen that. That it is. Before. All right, game one going to Sonics. Man, he has won four of the last five games. Momentum is definitely on his side. Shiny Mark's gonna have to tap into whatever sauce he was cooking with in the first set of the day many hours ago in winner's bracket. Time Ooh. to trying to bring in the rain and that the drought for, for Shiny Mark. I mean, as you were saying, Max, he has not seen a W in a, in a hot minute. And uh, well, that has got to start to uh, maybe affect his mentality a little bit. After all, this game is uh, all about uh, that mental stamina that we were talking about earlier, especially in a matchup such as this and with contenders that, I mean, know each other so, so well. A fresh start, though, for Shiny Mark. One game is not quite out of hand for him to still make it. Back into the small battlefield. Let's see, Shiny Mark is starting more stronger this time. Now Ooh. the combos start starting, but Sonic is so good just riffing out of them with those techs, hmm. unable to land anything. And the Shiny Mark, look at that. Getting dragged down. Oh, he's bringing also the down air. 
Now the advantage is for the Pikachu main. Marcus. Marcus, this is looking like an entirely different shiny mark already. This man got the jitters out once more, and, well, he came here to play. Yeah, it wasn't that little break that put him back to earth. It was actually losing game one. Oh, he was getting slapped in the face, yeah. Yeah, kind of a steep price to pay, but we'll take it. Wow, falling off the platform and not getting caught by the drag down neutral air. That could have been huge for Shiny Mark. Now Sonic's with another chance. Imagine dealing all this damage and not getting the first stock. That would be a lot of wind out of his sails. But is still in the territory in which Shiny Mark could capitalize a first for sure. What is it to confirm? Going to be not even a confirmed, just a raw option. Oh, I like that with the wall jump setting up for those uh, very, very lengthy hitboxes that Pikachu has off stage. Oh, narrowly managing to avoid that backer as well. Shiny Mark, he's got an angel watching out for him because he somehow manages to survive all of that now. Just relying on his skill once more. And the forward smash, the same type of forward smash that we saw earlier from Sonics now not being effective anymore. Pikachu problems to getting the stock is are sh showing up right here. Sonics is so close. It feels like Sonics is so close to get it. And that's going to be enough. The up throw, yeah. That's the kill. Crossing the stage, getting the throw, and taking the stock. That's what Shiny Mark needed. That's the reward that he was been working for all these first stock. Missing the wave lane on the platform, but not getting punished for it. Ooh, really great there for Shiny Mark. Can <gasps> he start a loop? No. Zero is not in the building. No Maverick hunting being done. <laughs> Oh my god, and the platform Tishix is gonna miss there for Sonics to what a creative angle there from Shiny Mark to not only make it back into the stage, but even start his offensive once again. Sonics, oh, he's not gonna over again, Death. but he was patiently waiting for his opportunity to confirm that classic Nair into the back. Oh, he then again running and grabbing Sonics. He has not been ready for those for those grabs. Oh, the small oh, what a chase! It was fantastic, man. Like he's reading, he's unable to capitalize right now. Shiny Mark needs a big hit to take this stock. This will be fantastic. But Sonic Little Barilla is chipping him out. Oh, and finally going to the right side. He's made Sonic second guess how to cover that path back to the stage so many times. That said, if he catches on, maybe a forward smash is coming his way next time. What's okay. the edge guard gonna be? I thought, I thought, sorry to cut you off, Max. I thought for a second that the Turner Joel was gonna come into play there to complicate things a, a little bit more for for Sonics, but he manages to make it back into the land. Oh, the force matches are a little, like uh, a little bit of trigger happy there on Sonics' behalf, I have to say. Like, if you're gonna string for it, man, like that that move has such great uh, frame frame uh, data that just you just have to do it and, and the clash is gonna land. The dash attack is gonna take the stock. Shiny Mark up now with a comfortable advantage, but he has to work this out because Sonics can take him out <gasps> in a flash. And, and look at that, Shiny Mark didn't even try to punish him. He knew that uh -oh. Sonics had time to go for the spring jump once again, and he is just staying committed to go for that second swing once Sonics gives him the opportunity. Of course, Sonics not gonna try and have any of that. Okay, a little bit of a preemptive hit dogs being thrown out. Those quick aerials from Pikachu are starting to make their place, and the damage continues to be racked up. Very fortunate for Sonics, able to bust his way out of that lightning loop. <gasps> it's gonna be Huge in terms of minimizing the damage. We could have seen Shining Mark also set up into an edge guard off of that. Now he's got another chance. Oh my god, more chaos off the stage. And it's Sonic's getting the breakaway. With oh. the no, no forward smash for you, he says. He's really wanted to swing. The Haymaker is not coming out. And little by little, the chase with the down tilt and then the upper. Shiny Mark is going to land the Thunder <laughs> into the forwarder. Picking up what he's dropping, but I like it. I like the creativity in this man. The forward tilt Ooh. just to get the edge guard here. No, he went for a read, unable to get it. That could have been his mask confirmed earlier on, but Shinemark still working on this a final KO to get himself on Whoa. the board. As we said, the first W on his side in quite a while. And okay, Sonics letting those ones rip. I mean, at this point, I don't know if it's really going to make a difference, though the clock continues to dwindle down, and Shinemark has yet to put the final dent on this game. 149%. It is do or die for Sonics. One grab could be everything. A forward air at the ledge as well. Yes, there we go. No divine intervention this time. We're going to see Shiny Mark <laughs> put himself on the board in this second uh, second set. Oh, that's great. That's great. Here is Shiny Mark. He's so focused right now. Let's see. Are we going to see a change? We have we have diplomacy talks right <laughs> The calm before the storm once again, and I mean, there's gonna be plenty of lightning that we're gonna see coming in from Shiny Mark's side. 
Now oh. things completely evened out at the pivotal moment of this, not only this is said, but the entirety of this tournament about come to play for us. The whole weekend boils down to the swing match of this set right now. Who's going to have counter pick advantage in the case of a game five? Who's going to have momentum on their side? And man, you can't help but think that both these guys want it so badly. Maybe for slightly different reasons. Again, it's Shiny Mark's potential first major win. And Sonic's breaking that second place streak would be so good for him. Oh man, when you point it like that, it feels so heavy, so hard for these two players. And we are going to the Cathedral of Smash. We are, of course, at the Chaos Pokemon League. Ooh, the foot still seem to down there. I like it. Stylish stuff. They will, they will have a lot more space here to run and chase each other. But it's Sonic's, the one who is bringing the offense first. Yeah, Sonic was going for a lot of footstool into homing attack earlier on. Shiny Mark adapted by just shielding, waiting for a quick second. Now, the immediate answer. So, Sonic's relying on that frame data. Those Thunder Jolts, though, gonna come into play to stop the attempted approach. And those hitboxes, the downer, uh, whether it be like just a uh, fast falling or with a rising hitbox, are gonna work out wonders also to continue to rack the percent here for Shiny Mark. Yeah, Sonic's best out of shield tool is usually his up air. I think it's a frame five aerial, but that only works on characters small enough to get hit by it. Pikachu is not one of them. So you see him modifying his punish game with the footstools into either down air or homing attack. Very smart. This is a guy who does his homework. Yeah, completely right. Those are those those study hours, those practices, the grinding sessions, and of course the endless times these two have battling to each other, they are all boiling out into this cauldron of, of fight, into this crucible of warriors. And let's see, going down, no, close, get spiked! Oh, no tech get on dunked. the wall. Uh, no tech, yeah. Uh, oh, is, this the stamina, is the stamina finally uh, ending up for Sonics? I mean, sure. Arches is not going to help you on that one. <laughs> for sure. I mean, we were talking about how Sonics is just such a student of the game, but Shiny Mark as well. I mean, every single time I see this man tweet something, it's like a lab clip. Like, he's always on the lab, just such a hard worker as well. And it is, it may finally be paying off. And with such a lead after that missed tech from Sonics, I mean, we could be seeing the rise of a new champion right now. He has some incredible tech skill as well. Really, the only player that I ever see go for the instant wall jump, where you just drop off the ledge and wall jump immediately on every single stage. So. That's something that's a hallmark of his play. But so are these edge guards. Woo! The back air gonna connect. Shiny Mark looking like he's the one who wants it more right now. Staying alive and coming alive in this game three as well. The counter pick, the strategy, Roy. Was this the answer that needed to stop Sonic? This bigger platform, this big uh, blast zones. Is this what Shiny Mark needed so far? He's oh. playing masterfully in Kalos. And Sonic's going, I don't want to say for Hail Marys, but really trying to press whatever little advantage he may get as far as positioning goes, even off stage, even when it looks like he has oh, to run up, but oh, this could be a great opener for Shiny Mark. And he is been deadly oh! once again. The time, this time the DI was correct and the tech was there to follow. Sonic's is still keeping alive, but for how long? That is the question. Shiny Mark looking quite solid to go up in this set number two. Has to keep his wits about him though. We've seen Shiny Mark in that set with Gak start to rush things just a little bit and almost letting some of those games slip as a result of it. <gasps> oh, so close. When I say you gotta want it more, you can't want it too badly either. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Still gotta have to keep your wits about yourself, but can Sonics do it? This man is looking a bit disheveled right now. Yeah, man, those those forward tilts from Shiny Mark has been so precise, the back throw. Terrible situation for Sonics. Yet again, is he gonna come back? The Thunder Jolt is gonna hit one, two, three. Now this is my home. But Shiny Mark has been able to come back oh, so much. What a tank over there! Still alive, both of them. What a play That's to it. That's gonna be enough. It doesn't matter the size of the of the place. And look at that. The Lord, the Lord is being called for Shiny Mark. A three stock. Between players of this caliber, you would not expect something like that. But Shiny Mark at damn near one o'clock in the morning, still delivering. My God, he is not missing a beat here. Both of these guys have been stoic on camera. I mean, after their Ws, after their stressful sets, if Shiny Mark gets this this win, I, I don't know. Are we going to see a huge pop-up or something like that? I know he's trying to keep it in right now, just holding it together because this is where it matters most. Oh, this is do mirrors. or die. Oh, <laughs> they, for a moment, I was getting caught. You got extremely excited <laughs> for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you can't help but think that they have all this pent-up energy waiting to release it. Again, Sonics has been here before. He's the one who's used well, we're to going, doing that. We're going with Live and Learn. 
Oh, these people, <laughs> people is singing. Trying to, <laughs> trying to psych himself of the Sonics down in the set, but not quite out of it. We've seen that this man climb from the very depths. So can he do it one more time? Or has Shiny Mark's adaptation been final? Is the download complete is what I'm asking. We are going to fight on the edge of tomorrow, guys. Oh. This is it. Of course. All these Sonic players, I gotta say, they love their character, not just in Smash Brothers, but in their own franchise as well. Oh, wait, what is that? that? No, ah! that was close. Never mind, false alarm. <laughs> oh. Though that was so close to Avernus itself, I, I'm sure they both came burned with the flames of Satan, but they are still alive and dishing it out here on the small battlefield, the place that we have seen the most during these grand finals. Oh, the downer, little by little, shiny mark. <gasps> so, so, looks a little bit more bolder. He leads a little bit more crazy, and it's working in his favor. And I love this, that Shiny Mark, even though he knows that, uh, that Sonic ah! is going to react, still ready for the next couple of options. Both of these guys have just shown extremely pristine, not only conditions, but knowledge of one another's uh, options. I love the juke with the quick attack as well, going out and then right back in. Oh, and one to get away as well. Definitely <gasps> the best Pikachu at using that move. And really just the best Pikachu of all time. Sorry, Esam. <laughs> this guy is on top now. <laughs> he has can, been for long, oh, yeah. to be honest. The last couple of years. Like, this man has become the prime Pikachu, the shiny indeed one. <laughs> He's proving that he is the rare breed and able to survive all of that. 115%, this is so close. Neck to neck, tooth and nail. These two are battling all the way out, kicking the lightning. Man, this this is this is crazy. And, and hey, I know Esam is happy to see his character I was about played to say. at this level. That's a guy that loves Pikachu just as much as Sonic loves Sonic. And he has uh, helped Shiny Mark laugh quite a bit too, so yeah. I'm sure that he is also proud in that regard. But let's see who makes their country even prouder as they take this uh, potential, for, well, this first stock in what could be the final game of this entire tournament, S-Factor 11 may be coming to a close. You see Shiny Mark not going for the up throw right there, just using as many pummels ah! as possible. I like the idea because <laughs> you want to keep it fresh for the kill. Now it will finish the job. All he needs is a grab, maybe dash attack, but I don't know. It's going to be so hard to land a dash attack, man. I think a, an up throw would be the option. <laughs> oh, that little tail, tail of lob over there for the female Pikachu. Let's see. Oof. Going back into it, left or right, going left, staying there, feeling safe, but no, it was a trap. The forward tilt is going to take it on the 2-1. Of course, remember, Shiny Mark right now is on the tournament edge, able to win it right here on the small battle. Oh, wow. wow. Somehow dodges that. Yeah, I was about to, you, you were talking about the frame data on that upper hand. Uh, going for the air to air on that, even on those shield interactions. Great stuff there by Sonics trying to just get a little bit of extra credit going Ooh, on and forward tilt for forward, tilt, for forward tilt. An eye for an eye, it seems like, ah! is the price these guys are paying. What an air dodge even, they and still so knowing that he can make it back. Both of these guys are just daredevils of state. They know so much each other, man. That, that was the proof. Does Pikachu even learn acrobatics? Uh, <laughs> game Freak is going to have to adjust his move pool after this gameplay, man. This is insane. Shiny Mark able to oh, cut the lead oh, off. Oh, making tracks. the spot touch of the combo. Come on! He's really going to Sultra right now. These two are asking so much of each other. Oh, God. It's so tense in this room. I don't even know what to say, guys. I, <laughs> I just know that this means so much to both of them. But I feel like Shiny Mark is the one that wants it more. He has more to prove. And he wants to cap off his lifetime greatest tournament performance with a W. Percentage almost back to even as well. And the confirm. Oh, Shiny Mark waiting for the Thunder. He's going to chase him off stage. No, just shooting the Thunder Jolt and is staying at a distance in which, in which he can potentially let Trap or at the very least get a bit more damage going on. Oh, the overextension for a second. I thought he was going to pay dearly with it, but Sonic's not in a position to punish. My god. I'm not running uh, out of words to say here as well. I may just have to resort to Spanish. He's has, he has stayed so untouched. No damage has fallen for him in almost one minute. And Shiny Mark has been able to bring it back. The percentage is on his line. The numbers are calling for his name. <gasps> what a spot dodge over the solid roll. Oh. But finally, a throw is going to be a bad situation for Shiny Mark. How he's going to come back. Wow. Sonic is so ready. So prepared. He knows him so well. Incredible pivot grab and an even better back air brings Shiny Mark to his last stock. He said, hey, man, if you want to win this tournament, I'm not going to make it easy. You've got to make a comeback yet again. This is a win back. That was indeed what Sonics needed. 
No Sonic Jolts being avoided completely. The platform play from Sonic so elusive right now, and all of the just the jab to stop the offensive from Sonic. Shiny Mark is That's still in dire needed to find this duck, and quickly so because the time is running out as well. Where are the up smashes? Where are them? You have oh. been feeling them all night. But Shiny Mark has not been bringing them. 149%, watch it. Almost anything from Pikachu, all of those kill confirms will be here with the forward there, with the up, with the up throw. So many options, but Sonics have become now immaculate, not being touched by the electrical mouse. Hold on, gentlemen, look at the Finally. clock. Woo! Under two minutes remain. However, the lead is not big enough for Sonics to resort to running it out. Let's see what's gonna happen here. I think if he gets a big opening, if he takes another 50 or 60 damage, that is certainly in play for him. Shiny Mark crucially avoiding invincibility right there as that could have been the free percentage that Sonics needed to perhaps start to run away. And oh, he's gonna find a confirm already at 52. That hurts so, so much. Shiny Mark gonna have to go on the hunt, but the prey is gonna remain extremely elusive. We've seen what he can do off one neutral air or one up till, oh no, 70 between them with 70 seconds on the clock. <gasps> I don't know, how's your DPS looking, Mark? Oh my God, the uppers and that you are seeing, each one of these is not bringing him close to death, it's bringing him close to time over. The drag down is not gonna work. The loops are there, Pikachu can deliver a lot of damage, but Sonic has been such a master of smashing the out of it. Wow. Still alive, not dying, going to fight up to the last second if it's needed. Then again, La Copia, not enough! Oh, but it is enough, my friend, as I don't think we're gonna see Sonic's press forward a single time for the rest of the game. Offstage could be a little bit scary, but Sonic, Oof. of course, with a great recovery. We're gonna need a very crazy play coming in from Shiny Mark if he wants to make Guatemala proud in the last 20 or so seconds of this match. Sonic's ah! gonna start run <laughs> Sorry, running away, uh -oh. but okay, this could be it. If he gets careless one time, that could be his stock. Let's not forget, but only 10 more seconds left. Has Sonic's done it? Are we gonna see the game number five? Oh, Shiny Mark is swinging so for the fences. I know that Thunder is, is really the only threat. He's got one more, no! It's over, we're going to a fifth game here. Sonics versus Shiny Mark, set two, game five. It all comes down to this, folks. Shiny Mark decided to stay there. I'm sure uh, Sonics oh. banned uh, Kalos. Probably, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I doubt we we're gonna see that yeah. any longer, They're yeah. Not again, I think little mistake that was now. exploited. Wow. Guys, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. And once again, timeouts can be extremely tight. When it's a good fight the whole way through, nice, patient gameplay, and it comes down to the last few seconds, but there's a mad chase for that final hit. Some of the best smash is played in those moments. This is how their encounter went in winners, by the way. Game number five, Shiny Mark coming out on top of that time. Can Sonics change his fate? and get his revenge once again, that has been the question, or is Shiny Mark gonna get his first big title here at S-Factor Love? Shiny Mark didn't make the music uh, counter pick. Big mistake, if you ask me. <laughs> Tournaments have been decided on that as the, as the <laughs> Hill players. I am not joking. Hey man, this song is a banger. I think everyone can appreciate it regardless of their main, but of course, it has a different effect on a Sonic player. Ooh, the throw into back air not gonna work out right there for Sonics. That's a lot of damage he just lost right there. Shiny Mark almost getting some of his own off the reversal. Ooh. The platform pressure right there. Yep, okay, you're off stage with no Ooh. jump now. I love that Shiny Mark bringing it back to Texas, just chasing the landings from Sonics. He's gonna get an even Optimal. bigger punish from this, and he tries to get a little too cheeky with it. Is Sonics trying to even things out? Oh, the angle looking quite dangerous, but everything was measured there. Shiny Mark has not given up just yet. Oh my god, the forward tilt, let's see. He's staying alive right <gasps> here. Going, the landing is great from Sonic. He had <gasps> to make the quick landing. What? And the bumper saving him twice in a row. Yeah, actually getting him out of that combo from Shiny Mark. By the way, I've started to notice, Shiny Mark is really favoring the left side when it comes to that understage mix-up. Sonics is noticing that as well. That time actually picking up a ledge trap that could be key for the future of this game. Yeah, he's called him out quite a few times already, but not getting to punish all of them. So crucial, as you Again. pointed out, Max, that finally he is getting some percent from it, some damage going, and not only in the percent, but also mentally wise, perhaps, as this is the last game that we will see from S-Factor. You are completely right. Let's see the dash attack. Good stuff to get the positioning on the stage. You are, you are in control. What is Shiny going to do? Going for the downer. Sonic just walked wow. into it. 
down throw, yeah, you are in trouble. The homing attack is not gonna land. Oh, everything is, uh, people want China, China to win this. They are really applying, oh, we are, we are listening to the crowd going for both players. Sonics and Shiny Mark getting, getting chanted on right now. This has been quite a grand final so far. Oh, the patience there from Shiny Mark gonna greatly pay off. And Sonic says, I can do oh, it too. Oh, and oh, then oh, Sonic's is for it. Their first blood has been struck and it was LG's very own Sonic. Mad lads, Max. So smart from Sonic to just skip past the ledge with the backwards up B. That's a trick you always have to be looking out for from these Sonic players. All right, Shiny Mark finding the Thunder Jolt into forward tilt. Nothing too crazy. Still needs to land a kill move, and that can be so tough as we've seen throughout these sets. Oh, the grab. Oh, oh no, the death death. Dominican influence, baby. <laughs> indeed, indeed, it's happening right here. We're going to need that to reach divine levels once again because 170 percent is nothing to scoff at. Shiny Mark still working on finding the way to even things out and but you cannot take too long. We've seen just how good Sonic is at scaling things up and making them swing out of control real quick. 25% on Shiny Mark. Fight going on <gasps> the down tilt one simply fantastic. What a sweep. And man taking the control, running away, trying to edge him out and great going for the upper and oh, now man. the Sonic looks like he's walking out that he is uh, trying to become the one to kill, but finally, the forward is gonna make it. This is coming back, it can be done. Sonic's first stock lasting over three minutes, by the way. We're about at the halfway point of this match, and that's so Ooh. important considering <gasps> he's still the one in control. Wait a oh, minute, finally, a lightning here. loop off the straight Rico. forward air, and all that damage is gone. Sonic I delete delish, magnificent. Oh we my god, he turned it around from just one offensive interaction. This is the prowess that Shiny Mark is working on with Pikachu and the quick attacks are starting to come in. I mean, I thought it was going to be a bit of a victory lap situation there for Sonic's His thing got a little too out of hand, but no, Shiny Mark's still pretty much in this. Oh, he missed oh. that! That should oh. be hit! But the sweet spot doesn't hit! Not the perfect part that he was looking for. Shiny Mark could have had a lead right there, but still working on the percent. Sakurai, you are, you are a very, very very ex <laughs> demanding god and Shiny Mark has been punished by it. Oh my god! Oh, that shield is looking like a Skittle! Oh my god, Sonic could be very well breaking that, but he's gonna pressure him off stage once more. Oh my god, the dead Shiny Mark was so ready for that! This oh guys are just crazy! I cannot believe my eyes! She's dead? Dead? No, not, not enough. Right. Oh god, the trade over there, of course, Shiny Mark is gonna get the best out of it in the center of the stage, anything can happen. Right here, the forward is gonna kill. Yes! Wow. Turn Just the enough. One more for Shiny Mark, and he's taking home his first major here at S-Factor 11, a humongous tournament, the largest in all of Latin America. Oh, oh my God, Shiny Mark, those combos, they don't even need to be that long to, to really press the issue right now about a go full Spanish mode. I cannot lie to you guys, this is Bro, let oh, it rip, man. Oh, We're in Dios mío, carajo, lo que estamos viendo ahorita se están pasando el lance. Esto va a Sonic. Sonic todavía no se rinde. He still has not give, given up. My God, last duck. It could that not been any other way. Oh, my God. Finally goes to the right. That was right. Let's see. 25% is the, the difference between these two men right now. This is the level of ex 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 exhibition that we are seeing right here. <gasps> Great! That was bad for Red Mark, but he's able to, sh to shake it. There is a grab. We're gonna feel the dose. No, he's able to escape, but still in <gasps> I'm in danger, he says. Just making sure to burn a little bit of the clock with all these understage stalls. Also playing with... Ah! If he misses one quick attack, he could lose the tournament Curtis. by SD. Yeah, that could be it. I mean, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic, is not, Sonic is not really a prone character to SDs, but Shiny Mark gonna have to keep his widows about with himself with crazy execution. That just makes it all the more impressive. If he does manage to get it, just a little bit more percent. The clock oh. is winding up. Ah! Look at no Sonics. He decides to go for the risky play to try and make a Hail Mary out of it. And Shiny Mark is still gonna punish. Not super heavily though, quite yet. 49%, but the, the way these two have been dishing it out oh. so close. Finally, Sonic is unable to read, and Shiny Mark gets the standing. He's gonna get the dash attack too. Controlling the stage, oh. and with the forward smash. That was big. That could be the difference. 
All right, now we are definitely not going to see Sonics win by timeout. Is Shiny Mike ah! going to commit to it, or is he going to go for the kill? I don't know. This is the most important 30 seconds of your Shine! life. Shine! Marcus, ¿qué tienes? ¿Qué tienes? ¿Lo vas a lograr o no? He, he is shine. pressing his advantage, or is he just going to stay back as Max said? I mean, seconds. Sonics has to go for a crazy break at this point. 15 ah! seconds on the clock right now. Sonics, oh, he was going for the damage. This man can do it still. I have not oh, heard my the berry. This man is crazy. ¿Qué te pasa, Marcus? Carajo. He's shining. He really has become a sun. He's a star. And he's going it's to over. Shiny ah, Mark wins oh. S Factor 11 by timeout against the timeout king himself. Sonics so close but couldn't finish the job. And look at this man falling to his knees, weeping. A beautiful moment in Guatemalan history, in Smash Brothers history. Esports, baby! Esports history. People wow. are on foot. Wow. They are climbing. They are calling for their champion. Even the production guys who don't know Smash <laughs> are loving this. They I mean, are on their foot. Everything is just emotion right here in Mexico City. Oh, we didn't get to see that pop off on camera, but all oh, that bottled up emotion. I mean, tears flowing down the eyes. This is one of the potentially crowning moments for Shiny Marks. Hey! This is only the beginning, and here rises up Guatemala on the map. That was absolutely Woo. insane. Who would have thought that two sets with three timeouts could be so such exciting. a joy to watch? <laughs> that was crazy, man. Both of these players so talented, representing these countries that have not been on the top of Smash Brothers, but are rising so quickly thanks to their talents and their efforts. And you know they're going to bring that trophy home and hoist it high in the air. My god, that was so fire. Are oh. you not entertained, people? Look at this man stoic. His face. Oh, oh and Sonic. Hog is right yeah, there. What a yeah, champion massive too. respect there from Sonic. And I mean, it has been a fair bit of a rod patch right there for him. But we cannot but feel happy for Shiny Mark right now, as like I said, getting his first major, major W, and uh, could be the start of a streak even for himself. As I think that once you reach that point and you breach the ceiling completely, I mean. The sky's the limit. And there is, there is a lot to talk about it because this will give him the funds to travel the world. True. This will be a ticket to the world. Unsponsored player, by the way. Yeah, unsponsored player has uh, Sonic. And look at that face, man. Like, this this man can sell t-shirts. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I just still cannot believe it. Winning the pre-factor, winning S-Factor 11 as well. Shiny Mark really making his mark, no pun intended, as one of the Statement. best in the entire world this weekend. All the way from La Ciudad de Guatemala, from Guatemala City, now here in Mexico City, making history. Oh. There is no small origin there is no humble enough origin for a dream i mean you will be able to carry it out fight for it go for it no matter what i mean both these guys uh, put in such a great show for us man what a way to finish let's go to twitter <laughs> oh. hey man if, if you told me last maybe like two years ago yeah actually i guess at the beginning of ultimate before i had ever heard of shiny mark if you yeah. told me a Wi-Fi Pikachu from Guatemala would win a tournament with MK Leo, with Spargo, with Glutiny, with all these legacy players at it. I would have thought that you were just straight up lying. <laughs> and here he is defying the odds, making huge strides for himself, for his country, for his community, for all the Pikachu players out there who thought maybe the character got a little pushed I out of the meta by DLC. Absolutely not. Stop this character yeah, is let's go. crazy in the hands of someone so technical, so dedicated. I remain to yeah. the facts. I remain to the evidence and provided I, today on the stream. I also want to point out, this was a crazy run for Shiny Mark, but also for so many other players, right? Like Manny, the, the Steve player, True. or Shattuck, who manages to beat Spargo for the first time, mind you. Cosmos also getting a huge W on that same regard. Uh, I mean, Meister reaching top eight once again. And I mean, Gact. Gact going absolutely crazy. I mean, reaching top three, that, I mean, a crazy tournament indeed. And I just cannot wait for S Factor 12. I know, the storylines have been set. Sonics, you know he's angry. Two second places, two years in a row. Oh, he man. He needs to break the curse. Of course, he's got, he will, he's he got W's in the time between. Oh, we have, we, have a, we, have, we have microphones on the stage. We're going there. 
Eh, Vamos. Topo, con el chico. por favor. Aquí al escenario. Una final cardíaca, un top 8 espectacular, mi gente, un fuerte aplauso. Mi buen Armandeus fue Smash Factor 11, grandes jugadores, gran talento. Hermano, ¿qué puedes decir? Pues creo que tremendísimo, de los mejores tiros que hemos visto, de las mejores finales y más cardíacas y más cerradas que se han vivido en la historia del juego. Así que súper merecido, pero... Llegamos al momento de la premiación, ahora sí, de este top 8. Comenzando por el séptimo puesto, que es para un jugador extraordinario que en este momento no nos está acompañando. Pero fuerte el aplauso, por favor, para Meister. Seguimos con esta premiación. Un gran lugar y un excelente jugador que siempre nos visita, el buen Cosmo. Quinto lugar, 
Queremos felicitar por un extraordinario desempeño a Espargo. Espargo, Espargo, eso. Claro que sí, mi gente, y también un fuerte aplauso para Mani. Ahora, alguien que nos sorprendió, alguien que hizo upsets, alguien que de verdad nos dejó un extraordinario sabor de boca, Shadik. Desde otro continente, viajando hasta acá, representando con el poder de la magia y los poderes de su personaje, ¡Gag! En segunda posición, dándonos una de las mejores, si no la mejor Grand Final de Smash Factor, Sony. Y finalmente, el campeón de Smash Factor 11, Shiny Mark. Man, what an amazing tournament. Another factor in the books. And you could just see every single person on that stage wanted to win this tournament so bad. But unfortunately, there can only be one. So another round of massive congratulations to Shiny Mark for pulling it off. Landmark performance for him as a player, for Guatemala as a Smash community. It, it was just such a treat to watch. And great job to everybody up there, man. Even if you didn't win, you still put on one hell of a show. And before I put or I pass it over to these Mexican legends on the mic. I just want to say thank you so much for having me. City, the whole community here. Colt, Roy, muchas gracias. De nada, I love de nada. you guys. I love Un coming gusto. here. You'll probably see me next year as well. But yeah. uh, you guys close out the show, man. It's only right. It's only right. I mean, this tournament is so storied. And uh, I mean, legends being born from it all the time. MK Leo, one of them, of course. Shiny Mark, we are seeing probably the start of the legend. I mean, so many stories that we will get to see and we will continue to see because, I mean, this fiesta, even though it's closing out for this time, we Gracias will definitely ustedes. see it Porque once again. And I really do appreciate you guys showing up for Gracias, this one. Banda, I mean, what a time it was over here. Ah, beautiful, beautiful to see and just so heartwarming to see all of the Latin American community and the international community uh, just up. Uh, really coming coming together so I, I definitely have no more words left to say yeah it's an effort that has been done from uh, from 11 years growing and becoming stronger willing to be a home for all of you guys your passion your love for these games and of course your love 
for Smash and well, why not betterment, self-betterment. Indeed, thank you very much to all of you who have been part of this because you were part of the Smash, of the S Factor phenomenon and the Smash community in general. Thank you very, very much. As always, we have to leave. It's the painful part, but we will always do it, saying it as always. Thank you very much for being here. You could have been anywhere on the internet, but you were here with us. So, from here, from Mexico to the world, be well, take care, we love you.